Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we will see the question Maximum Frequency Stack. We need to implement a frequency stack which is a class that stimulates the operation of a stack-like data structure. And it has two functions, one is push and other is pop. Push operation will push the integer into the stack and pop will remove and return the most frequent element in the stack. And if there is a tie for the most frequent element, the element that is closest to the top of the stack would be removed and returned. So in the example one, we are given different operations. First is pushing all these elements into the stack and then there are four pop operations. So over here we can see that we have the most frequent element as five. So in the first pop operation, we'll return five. After that, the frequency of 5 and 7 becomes equal which is 2 and at that time 7 would be the most closest to the top and so 7 is returned. Once this is returned now the frequency of 5 is again the largest and so in the next pop we get 5 as our answer. In the next pop we have the frequency of 5 and 4 which are equal but now since 4 is the closest element to the top 4 gets returned. So that's how this question needs to be solved. So these were the two conditions while popping the element. And so now we need to make this kind of a stack that is a frequency stack data structure. So let's see how we can solve this question. So for this question, I'll be using these data structures. The first one is the simplest one that is a frequency map or a count map that will store the frequency of the numbers that we are pushing. So the key would be the number and its value would be the count of that number. The next one is a variable which would store the maximum frequency that has occurred till now. And the third and the most important would be the frequency stack or the stack data structure from which we will be popping the elements and pushing the elements into. So over here, the key would be an integer that is the frequency that we have seen for an element and its value would be a stack data structure that would contain the most recent element that has occurred for that particular frequency at the top. So that while removing, if there is a tie, the element which would have been the closest to the top would return always. And that's how we'll be solving the question. This is a description of what is going to go into these data structures. So as mentioned, the frequency map would contain the number as a key and its count as a value. And this frequency stack would be a map data structure whose key would be the frequency that we have stored in the map and the value would be the stack of the numbers that are pushed at that particular frequency. So now let's go ahead and take the example which is given to us in the question. So we have these operations that we need to perform and initially our maximum frequency is zero. Now let's start pushing the element. So while pushing there are three steps that we need to take care of. First is updating the frequency map which is this one. Second is updating the maximum frequency if applicable. That is, if that has changed, we need to update that too. And the third one is adding the element into our frequency stack. So over here. So while we are pushing five, these are the changes that would take place. One is we'll be inserting five with its count one in the frequency map. And since the maximum frequency has changed from zero to one, we'll update this value. With this, we'll also put 5 into our frequency stack. So, its frequency is currently 1. So, we put it as 1 and we insert 5 into the stack corresponding to that particular key. Now, let's come to the next value, which is pushing 7. Now, while pushing 7, its frequency is 1 and the maximum frequency was also 1. So, we did not change this maximum frequency value. But as we have got the first 7, we'll put that also in corresponding with the 1 in the frequency stack and so that comes in the top. So if we were to pop an element, 7 would have been popped and then 5 would pop, which gives us the stack-like operation. Now let's push 5 again. So now over here, the frequency of 5 changes and so maximum frequency would also change and now we'll push this 5 into the frequency stack against the value 
2 which is the current frequency of 5. So this gets updated again while pushing 7 we will update the frequency and maximum frequency was already 2 and so we did not change this but we added 7 in this tag which corresponds to the key 2. Now let us go ahead and push 4. 4 gets pushed over here corresponding to 1 and it gets added into the frequency map. Again while pushing 5 it gets pushed into this 3 as the frequency gets updated to 3 for 5. So over here in the frequency stack against the value 3 we have pushed 5 and the maximum frequency also has changed to 3. Now comes the pop operation. So in the pop operation we need to follow these steps. One is returning and removing the top element of the stack that corresponds to the maximum frequency that we have. So in this particular pop we will remove the top element from the maximum frequency 3 in this particular frequency stack. With that, we also check whether the frequency is changing or not. So, if after removing this stack becomes empty, that means next time we want to pop from the another frequency stack which would be one less than this particular frequency. So, that's the reason we'll reduce the max frequency value. And third and the last thing that we need to do is reduce the count of that particular element that is 5 that we have removed from our frequency map. So let us go ahead and perform this pop operation on this particular example. While popping now this 5 got popped and returned the maximum frequency got updated as after popping our stack corresponding to 3 became empty and so the next time I will want to pop the element from the stack that is corresponding to a value 2 in the frequency stack. The third thing that we did is reduced or decremented the value against 5 in the frequency map. In the next pop, now since we are at max frequency 2, this element gets popped which is 7 and its corresponding value in the frequency map gets decremented. In the next pop, as we still have elements with the frequency 2, this element that is 5 will get popped out and with that the stack would become empty so the maximum frequency would reduce and also the frequency map value against 5 would get decremented. In the next pop 4 would get popped out as that was the recent one and its value in the frequency map would get reduced. Since we already have more values in this stack corresponding to the value 1 the frequency the maximum frequency attribute remains the same. So that's how we'll be coding this particular approach, remembering the three steps that we did for push and the three steps that we did for pop. So now let's go ahead and solve this question. Okay, before that, let's see whether we can use a different data structure. Can we use something else instead of stack? Yes, we can do. We can use an array list, that is we can use a list of list for storing this particular value which we will be directly coding after we see this stack approach. So let us go ahead and code it out. Firstly we need to declare all the data structures that we are using. So we are using a map that would contain integer integer for storing the frequency count. Next would be a frequency stack which would be a map of integer and a stack and the third would be an integer maximum frequency. So let us write those. In the constructor, we will be initializing these attributes. Now we are done with initializing our data structure. Now let us go ahead to the push method. So we had three operations that we were performing over here. The first one was incrementing value in frequency map. Second was updating the max frequency and the third one was adding value in frequency stack. So let us do that. So 
so this takes care of our first step and before that let's take integer frequency which would actually give me this value and instead of adding it over here we'll do a frequency now if my frequency is greater than the maximum frequency my max frequency would get updated with the new frequency value and after that we'll also add it in the stack So here it first checks whether there is a stack present for this particular frequency. If not, it will create a new stack and then it will push my current value that is x into that frequency stack. So these were the three steps that we perform for push. Now let's come to pop function. Here we need to perform three steps that is return and remove the element return and remove the top of max frequency second this update max frequency by decrementing if applicable and third is update the frequency map so let's first take this stack and this would be a stack of integer and our top would become stack dot pop now if my stack becomes empty i need to decrement max frequency and the last thing is updating the frequency map finally return the top and it's giving a perfect result let's try to submit this and it got submitted so the time complexity for push and pop operation over here is o of 1 and the space complexity would go up to o of n that is the number of elements we are storing into our stack so now can we modify this so instead of taking this map and stack let's take a array list and this would be list of list of integer so over here we need to create a array list and in this frequency stack we need to put a new array list because that would contain a list of list in here this would get changed and we say if if its size is less than or equal to my frequency then I need to add a new array list into it and then so over here we have added a new list corresponding to that frequency and for that frequency we will add our value x now in the pop also here we'll get the max frequency and this would give me a array list instead of a stack and then over here instead of popping i need to remove the last element and then i check whether my array list has become empty my max frequency will go down and this is all set let's run this and we are getting a perfect result let's submit this and it got submitted so the time and space complexity over here remains the same the only difference is instead of using a stack we are using a array list over here so that's it for this question guys i hope you like the video and i'll see you in another one till then keep learning keep coding